Hey guys, this is Spamik and welcome to Cybersecurity TV. Uh, in today's video, we're gonna discuss about the XSS defacement and how attacker uh, performs this attack. Uh, in the previous video, we talked about the uh, XSS, uh, you know, cookie grabbing. And but in this one, uh, the defacement is generally when the attacker uh, changes the uh, website or you know performs the uh, visible damage to the websites. Uh, we'll also see a demo at the end of the video on how to do it. Uh, but the, uh, generally uh, speaking, uh, as in pen tester, uh, if I have to demonstrate uh, my client on the exercise, I would generally just use probably like you know just the alert box or maybe the cookie grabbing example that we saw last time. Uh, the defacement is something uh, that's not generally been asked by the clients, but you should still know how to do it. So uh, just in case if someone asks you to uh, pro provide the uh, what are the possible risk or what are the consequences that uh, the across site scripting could, could uh, have on, on anyone's website, then this is how you can demonstrate. Now, the uh, in the real world, uh, the intent about performing this attack uh, by the attacker is to give some sort of a message, or maybe you know, uh, misle uh, provide misleading information to the users. Uh, one of the uh, example is uh, where the uh, attackers or the group of malicious users would use uh, access to kind of uh, modify the newspaper website and they'll what they do is like you know uh, they'll write some fake news and whoever comes and visit the website they they read the fake news and you know that's how they propagate the news so that's uh, one of the example uh, that uh, why they do it for misleading information but giving a message we have seen plenty of examples in the past where we have seen like you know uh, they provide tribute to their uh, so and so person or like you know uh, that there are so many country images like flags and things like that we have seen on the websites uh, now just like the XSS there are uh, two types of the defacement non persistent and persistent this is similar to uh, cross site scripting where you have non persistent and persistent XSS if you haven't if you're not sure what the difference uh, I would recommend you to uh, check out the video about the access introduction uh, in my channel and I'll also uh, give you a link in the in the comment section uh, in case you want to uh, see that but now let's without wasting much time uh, let's see a demonstration on how someone could perform the uh, defacement using the cross-site scripting vulnerability uh, this is one of the example I wanted to show you how where the attacker had used the cross-site scripting to perform uh, or provide some misleading information so as you can see this was during the Clinton Obama election and like you know they use the XSS uh, the website still looks legitimate but the content uh, was uh, you know something was modified and then uh, whoever was uh, visiting that website was getting the wrong information but yeah, hello, let's go back to our demo. Uh, now, if you remember this one, uh, we used the same example in the previous video for the cookie grabbing. Uh, this is, uh, uh, we'll just use the same example uh, uh, and, you know, perform the defacement attack. Now, first, uh, we want to make sure uh, this website has a uh, access vulnerability. So I'm just going to type alert box for one, two, three. Okay, uh, all right, so it is. Now let's see how to build a payload. Uh, now this is the URL of the image which I want to be want to place on this particular web page. Uh, so if you just want to look at the image, so this is the image. Uh, uh, of course it is hosted on someone's else server. I'm just using their uh, URL, but then again, as an attacker, you could have your own server where you have hosted a bunch of images, GIF, and then you could use it to exploit the cross-site scripting. Now, in order to exploit it, uh, generally, of course, we'll have to start with the script tag. And we'll close out the script tag as well. In the previous video, if you remember, uh, we used the document.cookie to grab the cookie information. Here we're gonna use the documented body dot inner HTML. Uh, 
it takes yeah, the input will be between the double quotes and we'll also put the image tag because we want to include the image uh, we have hosted on this third party server um, and here we'll put the URL of the image so let me just copy paste all right so okay it looks good uh, let let's try and put the image here okay as you can see uh, we now have uh, successfully placed the image on the web page of course uh, if you are uh, really want to tag you, you want to like you know uh, maximize this image you want to make sure the resolution of this image is uh, exactly same as the web page so you could do all sort of uh, all sort of things but for the demonstration uh, this is uh, rather easier now this was the example of the non persistent uh, defacement uh, the persistent defacement is something similar to a persistent cross site scripting so uh, I'm not going to demonstrate here but that's something uh, you should try and you know let me know if you do not uh, understand or if you have any questions about that in the comment section but yeah it's as simple as like you know you write something like a script tag then you uh, the document at cookie and so uh, you know you see this do uh, cookie information uh, you also saw the alert one two three which I had done for the uh, in the previous <laughs> video but uh, if I gonna refresh this you would still see the cookie information one more time because now the payload was injected into the database so same way you can use the defacement payload inject into a database every time when the user visit the web page they'll see uh, the image or defaced website instead of the actual web page that's i want to discuss in this video uh, if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel uh, thank you